Hi. Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Here I am at the piano working through a series of videos, working through absolutely every scale on the piano in its major and minor forms. We're now on to the minor scale of F and it comes in two forms for the most part on the piano that we need to practice and play. So we're going to do the harmonic form and the melodic minor form. If it is that you want to know why it is we're practicing these versions and why we're adding the flats and sharps and naturals and how the key signatures work, I do recommend that you pop back to the previous videos to understand why and really get to grips with exactly what it is that we're playing. All the links are in the cards and at the end of the video and also in the descriptions below so I do recommend that you research why it is we're actually playing these notes. So F minor is related to A flat major so it has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats and D flats. There's a key signature of four flats However, in the harmonic minor form, we then have to raise the seventh note. And so that E flat in the key signature must now be raised with a natural sign. And it becomes E natural. And so for the harmonic minor form, in practical purposes, we're actually only playing three flats. Let's have a look at the fingering. Now the fingering pattern is the same for the minor form as it is also for the major form where we need to use finger fours in this section for the B flat because we can't tuck after finger three to get to that B flat and then it's finger threes here so we tuck after three so that our thumb is always home on the F note and it finishes up that we don't actually use our little finger at all at the end of this scale. Let's have a look at this harmonic minor scale then so F harmonic minor and we're going to begin four, three, four fingering. And that establishes the pattern for three or four octaves beyond this two octaves that we're doing now. So here we go. So we've got F, G, A flat, that's our related major key. B flat, part of the key signature. So after finger four, we tuck under and make sure we get all the way to C natural. We don't want B flat and B. We've got to get all the way to that C natural. Now. D flat is part of the key signature, E flat is on the key signature but we have to raise that as an accidental to E natural, that's the harmonic minor raised seventh. So after finger three we tuck under to the F, so our thumb is on the home note, on the key note of F, A flat, B flat, tuck under all the way up to C, D flat stretch to the E natural the raised seventh and finish on finger four so although we finished on finger four once we've unwrapped all the way down it's four over for this flat section here B flat A flat G F three over raised seventh D flat four over B flat key signature, A flat part of the key signature, G F. Let's have one more look at that. Flat, flat, tuck under four all the way up to C, D flat, E natural raised seventh, tuck after three. A flat, B flat part of the key signature all the way up to C, D flat part of the key signature, E natural cancels the flat of the key signature for our raised seventh, finish on F, raised seventh, E natural, D flat, C natural, four over onto the B flat, key signature, A flat, three over to the E natural, raised seventh, four over onto the B flat, a flat G home to the F. Your left hand fingering forms the same 3-4-3 three, three pattern as usual so um, we can crack on straight away with that so F G A flat B flat C 3 over D flat stretch to the raised seventh E natural home 4 over a flat key signature, B flat key signature, C, D flat.
black part of the key signature raised to seventh the natural home so now we've got three four three fingering pattern going back again raised seventh d flat tuck under after three so your thumb is on the c flat flat finger four tuck under and you know you're in the right place because your thumb's on the home note raise seventh d flat part of your key signature tuck after three b flat a flat and home we go there we go so hands together we're going to have of course the flats and the black notes in the same place because we're going in simultaneously we're going in similar motion they're going to fall at the same time but the fingering pattern is going to have to change however i find it easier if you're looking at it visually to think that it's going to be fours in this group in both hands not at the same exact note but in this section and then it's threes tuck under here and just watch out that you've always got your thumbs on f that's your home key so here we go hands together so this is our four section so your right hand's got to go all the way to four flat flat get to the c so this is our three section now so your left is three on the flat and then your right is three on the raised seventh the e tuck under after your right finger three because we need thumbs on this home key note f this is our four section, so your left hand is four over. So you've just done four in your right now, so tuck under to the C. Now this is your three section, so your left hand is three over. And if you were carrying on, you would tuck under to do more, but we've finished, so just fing finger four to finish here in your right. So bringing it back down, so your left hand is going to lead the way with this first tuck under after finger three now this is your four section so your right hand does finger four then your left hand does finger four tuck under we need thumbs on our home note of f three over here in your right there's your raised seventh d flat now three under in your left four over in your right we would tuck in the left if we were carrying on, but because we've finished our two octaves, we're home. It's quite tricky, I do accept that. So by all means, practice it hands separately lots of times and then put it together. You know, practice makes perfect. Just take your time, practice it slowly. Stop the video, have a go, then go back and try again. Re-access into that video once you feel like you're ready to go hands together. And so now let's have a go hands together one more time, but this time we'll think of it in a more musical rhythm and we'll think in twos to let it flow. F harmonic minor in similar motion. Now we're going to have a look at putting F harmonic minor hands together in contrary motion. So we're going to be going in opposite directions and that means that the finger groupings are going to occur at different times. It still stands that we need finger fours in this section and finger threes in this section. This is the way I find it easiest to picture how to play it. However, because we're going to go in opposite directions, they're going to be coming at opposite times. So we've got four and three then three and four, four and three and so on. And remember that you won't be using your little finger at all in your right hand, that won't come into the fingering pattern at all, even at the end. Um, I also find it helpful to think, because of the raised seventh, we don't have the E flat. And so we have one flat missing out of each of the groups. So we've got two flats here out of this group, we don't need G flats. And then we've got one flat in this group, we don't need E flat, so that's raised to a natural now. And so I picture that we're missing one flat out of each group. And so it's going to be fours against threes. Let's have a look at how that works out. Let's go slowly. So here we go. So here is our three in the left tuck under, but four in the right tuck under. Three in the right, four 
four in the left, tuck under to your Fs, three in the left, four in the right. So now let's look at those flat groupings, flat in your right, flat in your left again. So we've got two flats in your right, one flat in your left, reach for that raised seventh, four over in your left, three in your right to the white keys, four in your right now, now three in your left. Let's have a go again. Tuck under four in your right, we need four in your left, three in your right, tuck under, so both thumbs should always be on the F, the home key, three in your left, then four in your right, make sure you're getting that raised seventh of the E natural, finishing on F, but you don't use your little finger in this pattern here, back in we come, four against three, three in your right against four in your left, four in your right, three in your left, stretch for your raised seventh, home. One more go a little bit quicker now. little bit tricky uh, but keep practicing it. I find if you just keep alternating your gaze that helps you to keep track on what's going on. If you find it really difficult just try hands separately. Begin with the left hand descending then ascending then you can do your right hand ascending and descending so you practice it ready to put your hands together when it's in contrary motion. However it's not horrendously difficult, it's a little bit of practice just take it slowly and you'll soon get there. Great, well done. Now let's have a look at F minor, but this time we're going to look at the melodic minor form. And so, the melodic minor scale still shares the same key signature related to A flat major, so we're still going to have a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats. However, the melodic minor form as it ascends, as it goes up, has the raised sixth and seventh. So if we count out which notes are number six and seven, one, two, three, four, five. Six is the D flat, seven is the E flat. And so those flats are now going to become naturals because we need to raise them. So we've lost the flats from the key signature by adding accidentals and making those naturals. The fingering pattern is still the fours, threes, fours in your right hand, so that's still the same principle. We've just got to raise the sixth and the seventh. Let's have a look at that. A flat is our related key, that's part of your key signature. B flat is part of your key signature. Took all the way under to C, but now we've got the raised sixth, raised seventh. Tuck under for your home note. Flat, flat is your key signature. Tuck under to C. Raised sixth is now a natural, raised seventh is now a natural, finish on F. And then as we come back down, we come back exactly in the key signature, so we need to put those flats back. So we've got E flat, D flat, C, four over gives us our B flat, A flat, three over, we need those flats back, four over, It works in quite nicely. We only have two flats as we ascend, and then as we come back down, it comes in groups of two. Flat, 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 flat. Let's have a look at the left hand. So the same principle occurs here. We've got the same key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, but those top two flats, the raised sixth and seventh, will take us to white keys. It's the same three, four, three fingering pattern as usual in the left. So let's go straight ahead and have a go. A flat key signature, B flat key signature, C. Now we have a natural 
raising the sixth and the seventh, home to air, four over now, flat as your key signature, flat as your key signature, C, three over, raise sixth, raise seventh, home, and now we're going to come back with all of those flats added back in from the key signature, so E flat, D flat, took after three, B flat, A flat, four, took under, so your thumb is on the home key, flat, flat, back to your key signature, tuck under, C natural, flat, flat, back to your key signature, and home. So it sounds quite complicated, but it's not so bad to play at all. It just requires a little bit of practice. Let's go for it hands together now. So this is F melodic minor. And as I said before, it's helpful to imagine that this is the group of finger fours, this is the group for finger threes, that same principle still applies. So we're going to have raised sixth and seventh on the way up and then all the key signature implemented as we descend. Here we go then. Flat, flat as your key signature took after four in your right. Now this is the three section, so you raised sixth and seventh tuck under now because we want thumbs on F. This is the four section, so left hand is four over, flat, flat, tuck under to after your finger four to the C. This is your three section, raise sixth, raise seventh, home. And now all of those flats go back, so flat, flat, that was your three section, so your thumb is under in your left. Now four section here, so four over in your right, flat, flat, four in your left, then under, so we want both thumbs on the F home key, three over here, flat, flat, tuck after three in your left, thumbs on C, four over now in this section, and if we were carrying on, your left hand would tuck under if you wanted to do three or four octaves, but because we've finished, we can just finish. So it requires a little bit of practice, it does, all of these scales do, however that's not a bad thing. And so once you feel like you've got that under your fingers, we can put it hands together a little bit more rhythmically and think in two. So here we go. I hope that's been helpful to you. If that's been good, then give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you can subscribe to my channel, then you'll be sure to not miss out on all the stuff that's coming up. There's loads more in store. I'm really enjoying just looking at all of these aspects of music, playing the piano, keys, key signatures, and it all kind of interlocks together. Every subject always overlaps into the other when you're talking about music, and I really, really love that. If it is that you're doing these as your uh, exam scales, if you're practicing for ABRSM exams, if you go to my website, if you go to SharonBill.com, there are free PDF sheets available itemizing all the scales for the various exams, left hand, right hand together. It's an exhaustive list for you. I've done that work for you. And you can practice those in rota to make sure that you've really covered all bases. And you can also chop them up and give yourself a little scale box like a brand tub to test yourself by sort of picking them out of the hat. That's a good way to practice your scales. If you're doing theory exams, I've got a theory exam guidebook available on Amazon and I recommend that you have a look at that. You'll find that on my website too. So go to SharonBill.com and it's all there for you. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Bye.